Dem. Where are we going? Dem. 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 North. Welcome to Deacons and Dragons. Therapeutic benefit in role playing games. Welcome to Deacons and Dragons. Oh, yeah, baby. Your presence quested in exchange for treasures. Dem. Dem. Red River. Are we talking one treasure each? Count that. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of our Strixhaven play. Today, I have taken on the avatar of Takeshi himself, after he accomplished great things uh, last episode. Uh, so, if you can't recall, he uh, procured three magical feathers uh, from a sinister vulture that was able to uh, conjure throwing stars from seemingly nowhere, and... That led to the creation of three magic quills, uh, which were, was the homework assignment uh, given by Professor Onyx. And yeah, we had finished right after all of that was crafted and Grayson uh, was given his quill. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. We're outside of the uh, forges uh, the west part of the central campus. So I believe that I have a study session tonight. Uh, yeah, Zioz and Noctis were ready to greet you back at the dorm uh, to right. come up with your special dance and story right oh boy um that's probably coming up right right up isn't it oh yeah it's soon well i think i'm gonna have to say goodbye to all my friends uh because i got i gotta go make a special dance bye everybody Were we supposed to make them too? Um, because I can't remember, as you remember, I'm, I'm not very bardic. Um, <laughs> I couldn't remember if we were assigned to do one as well. I oh, thought. yes. Yeah. So Uvilda, uh, the professor of the history of magic and art, the assignment was that the three of you would, one person would be the storymancer who tells the story of the performance, the pyromancer who manipulates flames to support the storymancer, and the saltromancer or dancer uh, who supports the performance with a perfectly crafted dance. And the story and dance and elements used are completely at your discretion. Okay. See, I was all proud of myself because uh, we made those those quills dance around and write for us. And I thought, you know, mission accomplished. We could sit back and relax. I forgot that we're taking more than one class at a time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, and I think I was the pyromancer, I'm fairly certain, for my group. Yeah, so you're right. So, yeah, Yukio, you're going off with them. And uh, it's myself, Tom Way, and Alder, I think, are yeah. in one group exactly god i'm a bad student um yeah i i also wish we only had one assignment at a time you know <clears throat> got i've got skittles so i want to take care of them um i guess sheamus and uh alder did we discuss who's being what in our team i'm the story uh, mancer that's right it's the okay. least frightening it's yeah and i don't know if i have any fire skills so That's know. why I think I'm I'm pyromancer because I think I can do some generation of at least visible fire. Um, so does that mean I'm dancing? Is that what I hear? I mean, <laughs> That's what I hear. I mean, I imagine you can cut quite the rug, Seamus. So, all right. Uh, growing up, I you know did a couple jigs around the campfire at the uh, different archaeology. Uh, dig sites we were at i guess i could uh i guess i could do one for class um yeah so we're gonna have to do the history of magic um we should probably pick a very specific 
maybe instance of something that happened here on campus, maybe something that's well known. Um, I don't know, maybe we got to go to the library and look up some important topic. Or like the we, library? Could we do just a knowledge check? I mean, we've all grown up hearing about this university. Would we know about, you know, a specific instance that we could draw from? Oh, that's a good idea. Just wondering, like, uh, is that something, you know, like uh, you learn about different university customs? Is that something that we would have in our actual arsenals or, or can I do like think on it? Uh, I mean, it's, it's really like any story. Like ah, it okay. doesn't have to be specific to Strixhaven. Gotcha. Like Noctis was going to uh, suggest this, this really cool story uh, about two guys sitting in an in, in opera house with this like really weird, like almost like fish uh, chamber, like electric fish, just like floating through the sky. And this old man talking to this younger dude and telling him about this, this tale of a, a really wise wizard that could stop the people he loved from dying. Huh. Good. All right. Hey, it's yeah. very edgy. Very. Um... So that's for your your dance, Yukio. I imagine. Interesting, Noctis. Um, you know, maybe we could really dive in on this fish and the experience of that. Let's let's really think about what it is to be a a flying fish. Maybe we can make that a, a, our. Uh, our dance experience. Yeah, uh, Zion is, is ready to take on this this role. Okay, all right. Z Zion is ready to be a fish and get into the the true spirit of what it means to be a flying fish. Okay, okay. So you, you um, Zion, who's who's six ten, uh, just start like flopping on the ground. He's just yeah. like slamming the ground hard and just like it's it's like pretty weird, but also like 100 percent accurate to a, a fish flopping on land. OK, OK. I mean, that's that's one way that we can do this. But what about the the like uh, the energy flying through the air as a fish? I mean, that that's a fish out of water, but this isn't just a fish out of water. This is a a fish as it soars through the open skies, opening a whole new world before it, right? So he, he crouches down and summons lightning into his haunches, and he just propels himself through the ceiling. <laughs> I, I just opened up a whole new world. That you did. I, I, I love this passion. I love this energy. This... This is really what we need to be showing tomorrow. I, I, I think we've got this. I mean, we can, uh, I, 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 can I can get your, your hair flapping behind you as, as we, we go forward, you know, bring some of that fire to it. Um, you know, I, I think that we can, uh, we can probably, we can probably beef up um, uh, Noctis's voice and make it sound like, like a thousand bards all singing the same story at the same time too. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think it's going to be great tomorrow, guys. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, I think that's going to end up being just uh, an amazing spectacle. All right, so guys, I guess for our side, what do we? What do we have? I guess, what's the story that we want to tell Alder? I think Seamus had a suggestion. Yeah, so I was trying to think if we had a, a fire-related thing. Um, I've heard some rumors uh, with some of these plane walkers bouncing around that there is this woman named Chandra, and she had quite a fiery introduction of how her spark was ignited. Um, and I didn't know if that was something people were interested in hearing about um, if we needed to use uh, pyromancy um, as part of our exhibition. 
I think that that sounds cool. I am not sure of the tale, so I'm not sure what it entails. Isn't that just glorifying a dirty thief? Ooh. Glorifying a dirty thief? Ooh. She struggled to do Rock what she had to do to survive. <laughs> Come down from your ivory tower, okay? And see what some people have to do okay. down in the trenches, okay? And wasn't she just stealing a scroll? Her parents were rebelling against the government, and she was just a rambunctious teenager, just having some fun, and she got sentenced to death. And as they were about to kill her, <clears throat> her spark ignited, she burned all the stuff down, and she disappeared to another plane. Huh. Yes, she was a thief. Did she steal some things? Sure. <laughs> Who hasn't? Who hasn't? You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's uh, quite a stance from you, Seamus. I just respect hardworking individuals who have offered resistance to those in power. Uh, I hold up the hearing cone and I'm like, oh, gee, well, we just stole this earlier today. <laughs> Look at a little blood trickling down. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all we tried to do was give that guy some books. It's not my fault that he fell to the ground bleeding. <laughs> yeah, true enough. True enough. So, anyways, I didn't know if that was a tale that um you guys that sounds had like heard. a good tale to me. Uh, you know, everybody everybody does something wrong every once in a while, but it could be the beginning of an amazing story, and that sounds like Chandra, so. As long as we get to introduce it and be like, have you ever heard the tragedy of Chandra? <laughs> Chandra the wise. It is not a tale that they often tell the Jedi. Wow. How can I learn this power? <laughs> How can I? I think- not, not from a green white deck. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick question: Does anybody hear all the strange shuffling coming from behind my goblin door? What? No. Okay, it's not getting picked up by the mic. That's excellent. That's all I needed to know. Maggie, what is in your house? Do we need to know. come over. That's nah, probably. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Strange shuffling? Does that mean? Yeah, I Sorry, think it's well. Of... I, I think it's well. Don't worry. In the small door? Yeah, I'm behind the small door. <gasps> Conrad, you might want to stop recording before the conversation <laughs> turns into um, Deejas and Dragons after dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this might be content for behind the paywall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're welcome all. Um... Okay, like, I'm just, you, I you, wanted to make sure that there was no issue with the mic getting, um, I, I don't know, I think he's bleaching something. I, I think I hear a spray bottle with bleach. Okay, we're good. Can you hear the sound of my prisoner trying to escape? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I guess for, for that story, for pyromancy, I think I can do kind of a spark shower to kind of show everything getting lit up and then light, if we can have some props around, it can light a fire around uh, you, Seamus, to indicate Chandra and kind of give you a cool backdrop for the pyromancy. So. So I can do an interpretive dance, um, yeah. basically de- declaring her parents being arrested, mm. her as well. And she's like, oh no, oh no, oh no, yeah. I'm trapped. And then she's there and she's like, and then you make like a puff of fire and yep. do some campfire around you, some sparks, a shower. And then Alder, you're describing everything happening in detail. And then I'd be like, like I disappear. That was me planeswalking. You didn't even know. You're like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yep. I cannot wait for these rolls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. It's going to be amazing. I'm just checking out this sweet uh, performance bonus of zero. <laughs> Wait, of Seamus? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be good. You actually have performance scores? Oh, yeah. It's not a negative, though. It's not negative. That's true. 
this breaks even. Roll what I roll, you know? Let's see, is it, do any of you? Actually, Tomoe's got a plus three performance. I do. We may have messed up, guys. Sorry. Yeah, but aren't That's you pretty solid? Fire? I mean, I will be performing, i.e., by shooting fire everywhere. Um, but maybe I should have been the dancer, especially as I am in. Uh, um, well, the fire is itself a performance. Yeah, as so I'll be behind you, coordinating in your movements. I'll I'll wear like yeah. a whole. This is a team effort. All three people will be performing. Yeah. And we will do what we need to we do. We will make you look amazing, Seamus. Fantastic. We will not let you down. I'm as ready as I'm going to be. It's like when you go to a blockbuster movie and the plot isn't there, but the effects are really good. That That's exactly what this is going to be. All right. So I think we've got our situations down. Do And we have to present this, I think, tomorrow? Uh, so... You'll be alternating classes, so tomorrow will be your other two, and then you'll go back to the previous two. Okay, so then I'd say I feel good about this. I feel good about our plan. We've made our quills. I'm 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 getting hungry, guys. <laughs> so we're doing. We have four classes total. Yes. So uh, okay. you have a really lax schedule. You'll have you'll <laughs> do. Uh, Magic physiology, history of magic art, that'll be one day. Then self-defense against magical threats, introduction to archaeomancy. Then you'll repeat that, and then you've got three days off. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, so really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's loud. Yeah, oh, God, that's a lot. All right. Yeah, I guess let's get dinner. All right, cool. So you head on over to either the Fire Joel Cafe or the Biblioplex Cafe or... Go to the Biblioplex. It's nice there. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't caused any trauma yet. Really too bad at the Biblioplex. And I still somehow work there, so... Yeah, you all have jobs there. Yeah, yeah so I get employee say, discounts even. Yeah, right. at least I would expect to. Yes, yeah, so you, you all get the this very special employee discount reducing everything to a single copper. Exactly. All right, perfect. Well, let's go have some food. Need to get Skittles some, some food too. Uh, okay, so you saunter on over and you conveniently meet up with Yukio just outside the Biblioplex. Oh, hey, guys. Are you ready for tomorrow? You know it, Yukio. You seem pretty confident in your dance. I mean, you know, between, uh, between Noctis laying down some sick beats and uh, Zeon and his mad moves, I think, I think we got this class on lockdown. Right after you say that, you, you hear, the, like, thunder strike behind you, and Ziaz is just standing there. Damn, Ziaz, you are getting great at that. I think your accuracy is really down. I'm betting that you could probably get within a classroom by at least tomorrow. You're so right. We should open up the class with me coming through the ceiling like that. I think, I think that would be really great. As long as we can actually get the right classroom. That would be really bad if you ended up in chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be real bad. But yeah, I think, I think I got this down. Check this out. And then he leaps back into the air like 20 feet. And he just takes on the form of an electric fish and just starts like spinning through the air. And it's just like the craziest thing you've ever seen. Mostly because of, like, how strange it is on top of how majestic it is. And I, w I will uh, reflexively, uh, which is it called, cast. I've got you right here that I was just uh, thaumaturgy. Um, and make his, uh, his mane 
flow behind him. It's, it's such a grand spectacle that people start gathering thinking that it's like a pre-planned show. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think, I don't know, maybe we need to improve our show. This is crazy. <laughs> it's, they'll love it. It'll just work your magic with the fire. Alder okay. will tell the good tale. Things will be good. All right. Yeah. Let's get some food. We also, so I imagine we're all kind of lined up getting some stuff from the Bibliotech Cafe. Yeah, so yeah, you, you, you stroll on in and you start waiting in line. And uh, two people up from you in line, you see one of the uh, fanboy headbands. <laughs> uh... I guess we can deal with this. I will get as tiny as I can <laughs> yes. in a non-conspicuous way so it doesn't look like I'm trying to escape. Actually, Seamus and Alder, would you mind getting me in Yukio food? I think we need to go uh, find ourselves a table uh, in the corner here. That's um, fine. What would you like? Just anything. Anything is good. And I kind of take... Spicy. <laughs> I take Yukio by the collar and just slowly like, no, 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 we're not doing a scene here. We're, we're going to the table and kind of go off into the corner of the Biblu of Lux to sit down. I will follow. Oh, you have no choice, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alder, let's see what sort of weird things we can order for her because she says that she'd eat anything. Oh my god, monsters. Well, I think she's a vegetarian. Yeah, ribs. Ribs it is. <laughs> so let's try to get her something we think she'd actually like. Uh, fine, 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 fine. Um, get her some fried Quandrix Brussels sprouts. It'll be tasty. Amazing. Yeah, I don't actually know what's on the menu today. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> I feel like the Fibonacci broccoli would exist in this plane. Just saying. <laughs> think if any weird, if any weird veggies could, I think it's that. So, uh, both uh, Alder and Seamus make perception checks. Uh, a six after my modifier. So I'm not paying attention to anything. Oh, no, I didn't do well either. Um, let's see, I rolled a four. Loving it. So with my modifier, it is seven. Yes. I'm just waiting in line, like reading a scroll or something, like not even paying attention. Thinking of this great prank for all order something really spicy. <laughs> both monsters, and I'm never trusting you to order food for me ever. All right, I mean, you're off hiding in the distance. You can't hear our shenanigans. Oh, no. No, I can't. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we're we're sitting in line, apparently clueless, um, just waiting to get up front so that we can see the menu. So <clears throat> today's menu, there is dragon toffee, a fluffy caramel treat in the shape of scales, leaves a tingling on the tongue, and a heat at the back of the throat. There is the Hydra Donut, a Y-shaped donut that takes skill to eat. Light <laughs> flavored dough with a sweet blueberry cream filling. Uh, there is uh, the oven baked cloud starfish. Uh, starfish that are baked in a super secret method to produce a light crispy treat like a chip with a subtle ocean flavor flame grilled mage caps mage cap mushrooms stuffed with herbs cabbage and bean sprouts roasted over a flame and those those are the food options for today i'll just get three orders of mushroom caps one yeah the me, mushroom caps one really them. and um we'll get yukio some of the um dragon scales he said he wanted spicy stuff <laughs> 
Okay, so you, you <clears throat> get up to the counter, and Isla is there. She always is. Oh, hi, Seamus. Hi, Alder. Three mage caps and the dragon toffee coming right up. Uh, thank you, ma'am. You're so welcome. She quickly gets it in like 10 seconds, puts it on a tray for you. Enjoy. Oh, I thank you. That smells delicious. Do you have um, any sauce or anything for the mushroom? Can I have that as like a, like a burger? You want it on bread or you want the mushrooms to be the bread? Oh, so deep. Let's do some bread um, and make it like a sandwich. Um, put a little, uh, maybe like some spicy brown mustard on there. Do you want two hydra donuts on either side of the mushrooms? No, no, that's too much food. That's too much food. Just whatever you got back there for bread. All right, basic bread. I've been called worse. <laughs> but uh, no, thank you for uh, the creativity. I appreciate it. Anytime. So she she goes and just gets a couple slices of bread, slides them on either side. Here you go, Seamus. Oh, thank you kindly. Sorry, I was taking a sip from my never-ending coffee cup. Of course. I got one of those too. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you very much. We'll take this back to our friends and um, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You as well. Oh, wait, did we pay? I was going to say, do we have to handle, are we, how accurately are we keeping track of our currency? Should we be, um, like, deducting and maintaining this? The, I mean, I'd say it's just kind of like a, a week's worth at a time, you know, like, you, you're going to be getting all the stuff for a single copper, you know, so if you can account for all of your meals, you know, it's like, all right, then. 20 25 copper maybe like over the course of a week which is pretty small but uh you can just like tally it like that so in, in like meal plan you know in, in 10 sessions you can mark down that uh you've, you've spent 20 copper okay as uh, we're walking back i'm just kind of giggling maniacally <laughs> <laughs> So I guess as we, um, as me and Brandon were trying, or me and Yukio were trying to find a table and going through the room, trying to avoid the headbands, do we see any more of them while they're ordering food? Just curious. Oh yeah, there, there are uh, a bunch all around the biblioplex. None, are at, none are like appear to be like on duty at the moment. Okay. Uh, they they seem to be like actually doing homework or attempting to eat. What okay. percentage of the school's population is wearing these headbands? <laughs> are, are, are we are we like a like you know? There's like one percent out there. Like yeah, there's people, but it's not everyone. Are we talking like fifty percent of the school <laughs> is like on my cousin's social payroll? Uh, I'd say it's it's probably now that you've become aware of them, uh, it's probably like five percent. Okay, okay, it's not nothing. Yeah, so I mean, like, you know, there's a hundred students in the biblioplex. Yeah, there's, there's a handful of them around. Gotcha. So you get back to the table. Uh, nobody is blatantly spying on you at the moment. All right. Well, we might as well, you know, get settled yeah. in. See, um, if we had a higher perception check, I bet you we'd notice that there were people indiscreetly or discreetly spying on us. <laughs> would have noticed something, now. I'm sure. There was some masterful wording there by our GM. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, hey, we... Um, we got some good tasty stuff up there. So Yukio, I think you said you wanted something spicy. We have these dragon scale pastries. Um, and then for the three of us, we got these um, d delicious looking mushrooms um, that were fried up and I got mine as a sandwich. 
Oh, I'm still giggling stuff. maniacally. You're still giggling maniacally? Just giggling. Alder, are, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I wait for them to take a bite. Okay, so I'm just like, okay, these look delicious. And I and I sniff it, you know, seems good. I take a bite. <laughs> I made it really spicy. It's not spicy at all. <laughs> and I kind of just look at you like half frozen in fear, not in regards to what's eating. Just like, I've never seen you like be a trickster like this. So I'm like, oh my God, wait, am I just not tasting it? It's so spicy or is it? is it like nothing and i just kind of hang there in the balance just watching you in terror i genuinely believe this is spicy yeah and then i slowly just keep chewing and look at you like really confused and i'm like are you why don't you have one oh i don't know i've got mine here the dragon scale was indeed supposed to make my mouth turn numb, right? I think that's what she said, but now I'm not sure with her calling this spicy. What's yours like? (laughs) And I offer one chunk of each also to Skittles, for he is probably hungry, so I'm kind of like, here, boy. Um, Let's see. So, Yukio Constitution saving throw. (laughs) Okay. That is a nine. Nice. So <laughs> your your face turns bright red and uh, you start coughing like loudly. <laughs> uh, which which then be, uh, attracts attention. <clears throat> and and you notice that some of the headbands are are turning. Of course they are. Um, I I will uh, I will try to uh, acquire a drink um, and douse myself. Uh, so Alder and Seamus didn't get any drinks. Um, nice. We suck. <laughs> <laughs> in that way, in that case, I will hack my way up to uh what was her name um Bella. yes um <laughs> but don't you have your coffee cup with you yeah like don't we all just non-stop drink coffee throughout the day and then worry about our dietary issues later when we get older <laughs> yeah no oh gosh i'm so sorry i run to get water you know i guess yeah it is the coffee isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Nothing like hot coffee to chase. Exactly. <laughs> I'm getting- I will. I will have my hot coffee. Um, <laughs> Mine's an iced coffee cup. My apologies. I'm sorry. That's so Duncan of you. Here, Yukio, do you want some? I, I yeah, I, I believe Yukio does. Except that, uh, yeah, Yukio's is way too sugary. So I think that um, you're, I assume, black, but otherwise cold iced coffee it's iced with um that has peanut and cashew uh milk of, in it of course all right so that's 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 not nothing yeah. um it's it's got no sugar in so that's not great but <laughs> it is yeah. delicious and nutritious just drink it down and stop <laughs> whining about your spicy dragon scales yeah you'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll keep that coffee though for now. <laughs> uh, so you you see that a uh, um, a lizard man uh, with a headband on comes in and plants himself in the table adjacent, um, and and is just kind of watching the table. Uh, Skittles uh, takes the food and he he eats it. And it's just, it's just like anything else he's eaten. Like, no difference whatsoever. Look at Skittles. Back from Skittles to Yukio. Skittles. 
I'm just like, oh, you're such a good boy. Look at you, Yukio. Jeez, you need to work on your constitution. <laughs> Maybe he's like birds and he just can't taste spicy. <laughs> Could be it. Make that happen. Um, as you say, Yukio, you need to work on your constitution. You notice the a pad of paper come out. <laughs> I uh, I look over there and um, I just try to very subtly um, pull off a prestidigitation. I just want to I just want to mess up his entire pad of paper, like make it unusable. But like very subtly, like I I could maybe not be the one who did it. Um, so just like a slight underhand of prestidigitation to just make the entire book like muddy and soggy and sad. Okay, uh, roll a sleight of hand check. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm pretty good at that. Uh, one sec. Okay, that's a sixteen with a five sleight of hand modifier. So that's a twenty one. Oh yeah. So <clears throat> you you do like a, a little wave of your hand underneath the table and uh a, a different student who's who's walking by behind him, it it like looks as if that student just like spilled something all over him and onto the pad of paper. Just like have a get a little smirk and just like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's so his his clothes are also wet, so he's he like stands up abruptly, like, oh, oh, what the heck, man? And so you're like have this like smug look on your face. He doesn't notice at all, and he just like scuffles off to the bathroom. Give a, a huff, huff. It, you're so actually so sneaky anything. about it that the other three players don't know it was you either. I love that. I love that you guys do you think there's there's it's so crowded in here goodness well gosh tamio where would you want to go well i don't know i need to finish these mushrooms and figure out what you need to quell the dragon uh i guess that you cannot handle dragon well here i'll, I'll trade you i'll take those mushrooms you can have the dragon scale it's not that bad I kind of look a little daunted, but I'm I'm living off the high of being able to slide a hand and like no one notices it. And Skittles didn't I am a think god. they were Yeah, Skittles didn't think they were too bad. So I'm like, maybe it's just Yukio. Maybe like he can't handle it. Um and I very casually just like pick one up and like put a bite in my mouth. Nice. Uh so roll a constitution save, but with advantage. <laughs> Old for dramatic pause. Oh, that's not as good as I wanted it to be. Uh, oh, that's okay. With advantage, which would be roll twice and choose the better. Yeah, I'm gonna do that again. Thank you, Maggie. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I guess we're choosing that. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Okay. Uh, so, so you eat it and like your face starts turning red and you like definitely, you know, your throat is, is definitely like tightening a bit, but you, you manage to keep it down. Um, and, uh, you, you don't outwardly react other than a a slight change in color. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Together. Well, this has been a delightful meal. Thank you so much, Seamus and Alder, for these tasty snacks. My mushroom sandwich was delicious. I don't know what you guys are talking about. They ate and Tobolay, you are doing great with that spicy stuff. You know, I, I did not think that you were into such spicy things. I'll make sure that we get you spicy things all the time. I'll tell my mom. Every meal. I just slowly just uh, <laughs> can't. 
I can't. Yeah, I I think um I think I think I think I'm good now. I think I'm full actually though. But thank you so much for the effort, Yukio, uh, and the offer. Uh, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, wait, would you like half my sandwich? No, no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. It was it was very very delicious. I I think I'm all set, and I just busy myself with just like <laughs> tending to Skittles and and not looking at anyone nor touching the rest of the plate of food. Just like mm hmm mm hmm. Okay. Well, do you guys want to wrap this up and go into the stacks and maybe um, we'll go look for um, anything we need for our next class? I think that would be good. Also, I feel like we should potentially revisit um, all of the inventory that we were supposed to investigate from our first day. I don't want to forget that either. And I can't remember where we landed with that, um, but. Yeah, we have, we some have a lot of mysterious black goo do have a lot of mysterious black goo and we are going to be using that for a class right on the other hand it's been hours since we were attacked by any inanimate objects so <laughs> well are you wishing them upon us yukio good no, i'm just saying things are going great it's been a quiet day <laughs> not wrong i mean to be fair i have been attacking most bureaus i've come across but so far, none of them have come back at me. All right. Well, yeah, let's go to the stacks and see what we can we can find for other classes. I know we need uh, animation. And I guess Alder's right. We're not using the black goo. We did animate our quills, though. So I think... Um, so oh, that's true. We're good with that. So then what is our homework left? I'm looking at our class schedule in my notes, Incredible. which are... I yeah, think I, you had so, the dancing. Let's still let's still go just take a look. Oh, I want to just go look at some books over in the, the stack, if you guys don't mind. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So I quickly eat the rest of my sandwich. I put my stuff over in the, the trash and put my tray up on the thing like a responsible eater. Um, and I'll eat the rest of Tomoe's mushrooms. Yep. I separate my basket from the wax paper liner, put it over in the proper thing. Um all right, so we, we make our way over. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, you can instantly, I mean, you can be instantly anywhere in the library, so. I think uh, you ditch us again. Like, you keep forgetting this, so I think you, like, do you again just leave immediately by thinking about it, and then we're all like, come on, Seamus. No, and then so, you pop back. Okay, okay. Is anybody around? Did anybody follow us? So while we're eating, somebody slipped a note into my back pocket while we were in the line. And it says, um, you're dead meat, Lamus. Don't tell Balder, Domoe, or Pukio about this or suffer the consequences. Did anybody see Alder? Did you see anybody sneak up behind me and slip this in my pocket while we were in line? No, but they're really bad at lame nicknames. They're really bad at spelling. Yeah, I mean, Did you already meet a Pukio. That is such a coincidence. Pukio was pretty good. I I gotta give the author credit there, but the rest were kind of dumb. Like Lamus, like come on. Uh, I mean, is there anything about the note that we can tell? Like, what? Uh, you know, have you take? You know, do you remember anything about the time when someone put it in? That's kind of super freaking lame. No, I mean, I don't recognize the handwriting. Um, that's kind of rough, looks almost like doctor script. Um, but I didn't even feel anything touch my pocket. And I usually, you know, very sensitive there. Yeah. I'm usually obsessively checking to make sure that I have my, my typical things. And I didn't even feel anybody, uh, slip this in with my old, uh, you know, bottom sensors. Um, so I don't, I don't know how they got into my back pocket, but that's why you always got to cover your drink. Yes, that is important, too. Um, you never now, know when someone's going to slip a note in them. But did you guys see anybody watching us? Like, I I admittedly wasn't really paying attention and didn't look around. I, um, I think everyone was watching us. Yeah, well, that's what's tough when I'm eating lunch with two cousins of the famous, uh, you know, pop star student yeah i mean they're always watching now it seems although i think we can manage our way around them now 
but I don't think there would be any reason for her to be targeting you um, or really any of us for that matter. She wants to be in control and seen as the head, but I don't, I don't see her stooping to intimidation. I think this is someone from previous. Yeah, I mean... Hey, wasn't there something about your parents being missing? Yeah, and... How never, long have your parents knows. been missing for? Yeah, can we go and figure that out, Seamus? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really think of them as missing, per se. They've been gone on long trips before, and, you know, they've always come back. So, you know, didn't really think too much of it. But now that there's flyers being put up around, um, yeah, kind of makes me a little nervous. Um, well, don't worry. You know, you can come back to our place to, well, during break because, you know, we'll just slip you in. No one will notice. You know, I think he wants his parents back. It doesn't matter where he goes to. Yeah, I wasn't really worried about where I was going to plug my video games into, but Yukio, I do appreciate you reaching out in the offer. It was nice. Um, hopefully we can do both. Hopefully I can still sleep over and um, also know that my parents are alive. So what trade are your parents in? Uh, they're looking for old historical artifacts. Um, they're basically digging up um, you know, magical pieces stuff left over from you know previous civilizations but like old quidditch cards yes old quidditch cards okay okay those are, are pretty cool yeah alpha <laughs> quidditch cards oh wait we found somebody um bbb8 took the flyer right yeah didn't he like rip it down well he ripped it down to investigate to help supposedly Yukio, I think this is your time to shine. I think we need to find BBAVA and um, use your unique friendship. Well, he just gave it to the cousin. Did he, though? Oh, you're That's right. Hmm. Yeah, so I don't think our relationship with BB-8 is going to pan out so well on that one. Yeah, it may be time to go and visit our cousin. I mean, do you guys mind? Is it is it like a bad relationship or No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's my cousin. And I thought she was just love her. I love how She's... his nose just maxed out the mic. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> great. Oh. Yeah, no, she's she is wonderful. And I'm looking around just to be like, yep. So I guess maybe let's, uh, Yukio, why don't we handle this part? And obviously, Seamus, you're welcome to come with. But uh, I think it's time to go see our cousin again. Yes, I would love to accompany, if you don't mind. All right. Plus, I can act as a buffer. So if you need um, to leave or something early, you can be like, oh, Seamus has a thing. <laughs> That yes, let's have a couple of those prepared. Come up with various ones. I think it'll be it'll be great. Yeah. Um, right. The humans shedding. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I don't. You'll do what, that, right? Yeah. Just come up with an abundance of things. Um, so I guess I'm looking around for one of the uh, the head banded people. <laughs> uh, so, as you start looking around on the opposite end of the the current like pathway between the books somebody just like steps out you rang jump back a little bit startled um i rang who oh uh my name's larry it, i think you were looking for uh her highness uh Yes, yeah. Um we're we're looking to just have a chat with our cousin. Um do you know what her class schedule is where we would be able to um find her? I think at this point she's primarily teaching classes. Oh, okay. All I think right. she's like that that skilled at this point. That, that, on, yeah. Despite only being a fifth year. Yep, that that makes sense. Okay. Do you know where we could find her class? 
Oh, I mean, we can reach her at any point because of the uh, the vulture network she set up. Look at you guys, the vulture network. Yeah, I mean, I was going to recommend looking at her face scroll page and see if she posts things like that. But I don't know, I guess when you're trying to be like a teacher, you probably want to mix your personal with your professional life on social media. Well, how does one access this VNet? Oh, it's it's. <laughs> I think you leave some dead meat out, and then the <laughs> vulture flies down, and you talk to it. <laughs> oh, it, it's actually very easy. It, these headbands, we we just start waving them through the air, and it's it's its own like summoning circle, basically. How how what would it look like if you were to wave one in the air? Oh, they don't work indoors, but I'll I'll go do that right now if you want. That that would be. That would be just lovely. Yeah, I mean, we were thinking of leaving now anyway soon, so we might as well just make our way out. You give it's going to be okay. I'm here. I'm a buffer. Anything goes crazy. You just say you got to leave for your silly human friend. I mean, I'm just concerned for all of us, and I, I don't want to put Alder in a poor situation either. We all have to remember these vultures have been difficult, so... I won't blame you guys if we if we don't want to pursue this route, but I, I do want to get answers for you, Seamus. I lean into Seamus, and I'm like, I know you want to find your family, but these people are kind of a lot. Well, no, I mean, it's it's true. If you if you want to go back and, like, hang out or you want to stay here and read a book, we'll send you a message. Use your cone of listening, and we'll yell your name when... Uh... You should probably come. No, I mean, I, I appreciate... You, if you do want to come, um, you can feel free to hide behind us and uh, yeah, you know, okay. from the, the crazy rabbit cousins. Hey, just not all of that us. Vulture with the throwing stars again. I mean, it's only one vulture, I think, that's trying to kill us, right? Because didn't the first one, didn't Tomboy just like shoot the thing for no reason? The same vulture. No, but then it got away. Remember, it came back to life again. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, no, these vultures are crafty, sir. Um, <laughs> so far, you've only met one vulture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, you tried to kill it, and then later it fought uh, Takeshi. Yeah. Yeah, we shouldn't judge a vulture by its feather. Um, I'm sure other vultures are nice. Maybe. Or by its employer. So. Yeah. The vulture actually died twice. Yeah. <laughs> Because we brought it back to life again and again. And then you shot it. Yeah. <laughs> and then it died again. You know? I stand behind it. I stand yeah, behind I saved it, it from its own cyanide pill. Yep. <laughs> Too bad. Um, all right. Well, we follow the guy outside for, to witness the, the V-net. Uh, so he, he takes the headband off, and, and he just starts spinning it around his head in a circle, and some, like, blue energy appears trailing it. And all of a sudden, you you just hear the echo of, Argh! and you you can see a, a vulture flying from the horizon. Oh gosh, I really hope it's not the same vulture. He's really mean. No, oh, look at that thing coming. Look at the wingspan on the thing. Yeah, this is a lot, and this so, is so <laughs> Ichika. The, the vulture comes in super fast and lands directly on Larry's head. And you see the talons just kind of like squeeze into his <laughs> temples. Like, Are you okay, Larry? And, and there's like, like cartoon level blood, like squirting out of the side of his head. Oh yeah, no, everything's great. Okay. So what happens now? What? You you want to contact her, right? Yes. Are yeah. You? So you you can just tell the vulture what you want to say to her, and then she'll probably just come here. Hey, Ichika, cousin of ours. Um, hi. Looks like you're doing great. Uh, it, cut to the chase, Yuki. Hey, um, I recommend we meet at Fire Jolt. I feel like there's too many people at the Biblioplex that are looking for us. I, I think that's a wonderful time. We'll treat her to a drink, get her coffee or something. Ichika, what do you know about Seamus' parents? Okay, bye. No, wait, no, stop. Did we get to stop? The, the vulture didn't go anywhere. 
Okay, yeah, no. And and if you have any information, we would very much like to buy you a drink at the Fire Jill Cafe. Vulture off. So <laughs> and- Vulture stop. Vulture <laughs> I imagine that they that it will open its mouth later, and this entire conversation yes. from all sides will <laughs> spill out. Yes. So then Larry's like, "Okay, if if you're good, then I can send him off." And yeah. he he takes the headband and then he just like whips it, and it makes like a slight crack. He doesn't whip the vulture; he just whips the air. I'll clarify it real quick. Okay, <laughs> that, seems good. That, that it was getting a little weird, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and and then the so then the vulture uh, releases the talons from his head and starts flapping in place, and then winks at Tom away and takes off. Everything in my power not to one be really weirded out and to want to raise my bow. Like I don't exactly understand it, but I almost have to hold my own arm down. Just be like, no, you don't shoot this one. I'm, I'm not. I'm shame. I don't know. Okay, what you're okay. About. I don't want to tell you what to do. We're all good. Yeah. Let's no, just I, let this one go. I, I want to know where your parents are. It's it's very important. Mm-hmm. Thank mm-hmm. you. Okay. Uh, so so Larry puts his headband back on. It's like, all right, well, I mean, if, if she's your cousin, she'll probably just meet you at Fire Jolt. Okay, well, wait, Larry, before you leave, is he still, like, bleeding? Is the headband, like, to mop up the talon blood? <laughs> like, is that, what color are these headbands? Yeah, there's, 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 like, very obvious, like, blood spotting and throughout the headband. Larry, are you all right? Do you need some assistance? With what? Are you not in pain? No. Should I be? I look at you guys being like, are you seeing? <laughs> I'm seeing. Does oh, I, have... I think this guy can make his own decisions. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can't make him have medical treatment if he doesn't want it, but no. he also is probably under some sort of mind control. See, well, that's more what I'm talking about. Like, this is kind of creepy. So roll roll insight check. Okay. All of us are just Tom Way. Uh, Whoever thinks that he's like mind controlled. Oh, I definitely think so. 18. Uh, Yeah. 17 with my modifier. 21. (laughs) Show off. He's, yeah, so y- you all are able to uh, deduce that he's most certainly under some sort of magical effect. Um, Yukio does not believe that it's like a full blown, like, dominate mind spell, but certainly, like, uh, there, there's something that's like making him experience pleasure uh when he otherwise just like wouldn't be when he helps his mistress yes uh, yeah. he, that's the one he <laughs> would do something like this all right guys off to the fire jolt cafe before i feel more gross yeah. you moonfold people are kind of different huh no please <laughs> no yeah, I don't know about you, Seamus, but they make me kind of uncomfortable. I'm yeah. so oh no. Oh. And I, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to paint a broad picture um of your race here. Um but yeah, let's let's go figure out what's going on with your cousin. Um and but keep her at like arm's distance. Yep, that sounds good. How about I buy everybody the first round? Cause yeah. this is just yeah. I think you're really close to just Seamus, and I'm like you know, after we find your family, um, we don't have to keep hanging out with them. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever makes you happy, Alder. I was going to say, we're not trying to force you to uh, hang out with any of these um, unique individuals. Um, but that's what makes this college so great, is everybody's... I'm just saying, Seamus, you know, you and I, we seem to have a lot in common. <laughs> I'll hang out with you anytime you want, Alder. Let's go to the library. 
<laughs> All right, let's let's say goodbye to Larry and uh, let's get out of here. Hopefully, she comes to the fire drill quickly. Yeah. So as you're walking, you see overhead that somebody sitting on a broom, like like sideways, like like from Bewitched. Uh, <laughs> they call that side saddle. Side saddle. Uh, so yeah. somebody sitting on a broom side saddle, uh, <laughs> and the broom actually has like a rainbow trailing it. Uh, just like rockets from the distance straight like to nine me. cat. Yeah, like I'm it's okay. it's incredibly fast uh, and incredibly obvious because it's just a giant rainbow streak through the sky, and it and it stops at the entrance to Fire Jeweled. Wow, that was fast. Let's go over and uh, I assume that's your cousin, guys. Yeah. Uh- that's what I'm thinking. If we get a table, she'll approach us in her own way, I imagine. So let, let's let her have her entrance. Uh, as we want her in good humors, especially to get the information that we want. So, so if it helps, do you want to say that I'm a big fan and I want to be introduced? Because what I'm wondering is, A, I want to find out if she or her cronies know anything about where my parents are. And B, you can try to pay attention to me and see if she tries to do something that would be mind controlling to me. And maybe we can figure out who's doing this stuff. We might be able to, um, you know, solve multiple things at the same time. That sounds like a good idea. Yukio, you are responsible for keeping the conversation going uh, after the first introductions. And I'll pay attention to Seamus with my telepathy and we'll see. We'll see if anything's happening. Nice. All right, let's do this. Okay. Operation. How dun, do you pronounce your name again? Ishika? Dun, 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 dun. Hmm? Is it Ishika? I thought it was Ichika, but I can Ichika? be wrong. Okay, no, I just didn't want to sound dumb in front of her, so. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll get you set up. So okay. I guess uh, coming into the file, fire jolt, um, and, uh, you know, I go up to the bar to get a round of beverages. I get... I get five, you know, thought it would be polite, right? Um, getting everybody's green teas, I think. So yeah, some little different. caffeine. Caffeine, but I also know that, you know, it's a more traditional drink for us. So I, I'm trying to kind of get all of the right pieces together for a good interaction. Much appreciated. Thank you. Um, so uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we need to work through that but i my plan is to just bring them back to the table and wait for ichika to make make her entrance uh so you go to buy all these green teas and elena uh tanglewood who fired you is taking the orders um and she's like yep yeah right it's it's like very cringeworthy this this exchange here where it's like the uh the exchange of pleasantries with like the worst tone possible. <clears throat> yep. So uh, looks like the cafe is doing well. Yeah, I still haven't uh, gone to the bottom of all those stolen ingredients, nor been reimbursed for them. Uh, did uh, anything come of that list I gave you? We we are indeed looking into it. Um, yep, that's the top priority we're just gathering the necessary clues and um yeah we'll we're we're working on it um hmm? hey in our defense wasn't that only like two days ago she's impatient and we broke her shop all right um, she has insurance yeah <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just trying to kind of get, yep, mm-hmm, yep, we're definitely going to do that. Just slowly sidling out of the line, trying to not commit to actually any like deadlines or follow-ups or anything else like that. Yeah, she, so she gets like all, all the teas together, but she just never breaks eye contact with you the whole time and just like sets them all up. Doesn't say anything, just maintains that eye contact. Yeah. They- Thank you so, so very much. I really appreciate the tease. And I give her a, a generous tip um, and and try to, to scurry away without, without breaking. 
Y'all come back now. We we will. I, I'll be sure. I'll tell the whole team. I'll tell the whole team. And I run back to the table <laughs> and I just kind of slam the tray down. I'm like, okay, guys, I'm making a list of the things that we need to get done. I'm just letting you all know. I've got some stuff for after this interaction. Just Why'd you give me a hard time? Please. Uh, no, no, um, more like not at all, and that was scarier than a hard time, so, uh. Yeah, that can almost be worse. Yep, we're, we're just gonna, we're, we have, we have things to do. Yeah, I think we should try to find it anyways, because I'm still curious what's going on with that whole situation, and frankly speaking, I don't want to forget about it no. before it comes to bite us. Yep, so we'll, we'll see. Plus, I like this. I like this place. Like, I don't want to be blacklisted from trying to come here. So we should probably try to make amends with her regardless. So get everybody their tea and, and get settled and just kind of look around and wait. What y'all talking about? Each kid is just like right behind you. Ah, oh, hmm. Eat, 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 eat. Yep. Mm -hmm. We were talking about what a wonderful place this is to have a drink. It really is. And uh, Ichika, so very glad that you came to talk with us so soon. Didn't realize that you would be so available. Um, but our friend Seamus here, uh, such a fan. Um, and because of our family connection, he, uh, he was hoping that I could make an introduction. Um, so, and I, I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with Seamus's family, um, but, uh, I, I, we, we just wanted to take the opportunity. So hope, uh, hope you didn't leave anything very important. Of course, anything for my family. I'm sensing a leer. <laughs> hey, Ichika, my name is Seamus and thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I've heard so much about your academic uh, successes and how good of a you know, magic user you are in your family. Yukio and Tomoe have said nothing but good things, and they love the interaction that they've had with you growing up. And it's just, it's, it really warms my heart. Um, and that's what kind of brings me here today. Um, we noticed... Um, you have a lot of uh, obviously followers who are really into the things that you've done and they're trying to help you out. And we heard one of them mention um, that you might have known something maybe about um, where my family's gone. I don't know if you've heard about it. I saw some flyers up earlier. Somebody's trying to help find my family. Uh, do you know anything about that? And is there anything you could do to help? Oh, is this um, Billy Bob Bob brought me a flyer earlier. You're, your shame is Clawborn. Oh, yeah. yes. This is about the Clawborn family uh, issue that's kind of going on with uh, my parents and my sister missing right now. Yes. Oh, this was just brought to my attention uh, about an hour ago. Um, and I, I do plan to start investigating it myself. Uh, I, uh, I have lots of experience with cave diving and fighting off monsters single-handedly. So, you know, it really shouldn't be a problem for me. Yeah, I have to say, if you can do anything like with the tales that I've heard, I... Oh, I no, can. I have no doubts that this will work out. So, it, you know, let me know, rope us in. Um, I, I don't want to leave this all in your hands, but if there's anything that we can do to help you help me. Um, you know, the Clawborns are a very influential family on their plane, and, and it would be just just fabulous to to really get to know get to, get to be a part of that um that legacy and, and very very valuable and influential to be associated with the clawborns i think mm, i'm picking up what you're laying down yukio yeah i should add that to my ledger yes i think it would be great for our families to come together and have a little more um social interaction at the very least i completely agree we should be best friends oh that sounds so good i would love if the four of us could get together um you know more often and um have you met our friend alder here she's um one of our oh. fellow students being small 
Oh yes, I did notice Alder. She's uh the reason you were able to opt out of that Arcanobotany, isn't it? She's a very valuable member of our team, yes. I do notice we bright, noticeably brighten up at that. Oh yeah. yeah. She knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I have great respect for other people who can do the things that I've done myself, because there aren't many out there. Thanks. Yes. Yukio and Tomoe have told us many of these tales, and it just boggles my mind how you're able to accomplish this much stuff it's at such a young age. Yeah, so few students are capable of opting out of a class at Strixhaven. I mean, it's, you know, the, the center of the universe when it comes to arcane knowledge. So to be able to transcend a course, you know, that's, that's really impressive. So, you know, of, of course I know Alder. Okay. Like looking at Alder with like some newfound respect, but also every single time that everyone else is talking, I'm kind of looking at Yukio going like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then when she looks back, I'm like, oh, yeah, mm, yeah, oh, <laughs> wonderful. I don't know, I kind of like her. <sighs> I'll just get like, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> She's way better than what you were describing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she is wonderful. I could hardly do Ichika justice. Ichika, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to meet everybody. Is uh is there a time where we could um you know meet up to start helping with uh, the clawborn investigation? Or like how can we uh because, uh, you know, Seamus here, he's a core member of our team and, you know, we're really concerned and um, we'd, we'd love to join forces. You know, actually, what might be a good idea is if Alder became my TA and you could just relay whatever information you have through her. Because I think like she and I might be able to converse at a, you know, better level than if we were to converse, you know. What's the course? Oh, intro to Arcanobotany, the one that uh Oh, excellent. Yeah, I could probably help. Yeah, I would I'd really appreciate that. I just look again. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Great. Thank you so much, Alder. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that sounds like a really good experience for you, Alder. I'm sure yeah. this would be a mutually beneficial arrangement. Yeah, it pays well too. Oh, wow. Maybe the fan club is justified. Yeah, don't worry, Tomwe. If you just keep studying, you'll get there, though. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're, I'm work, we're working hard. Right, Yukio? We're, gonna, we're doing well. You know, it's been just a joy being around Alder because every time we're near her, we learn something new. So I, I can imagine that anyone else near her would learn something new, too. I, I, I think it would be wonderful for everyone to be around Alder. I, I got to say, at this point, like, I'm so kind of confused by Alder just being like, yeah, I am smarter than everyone. And, like, she's totally being like, yeah, I, I am the jerk that Ichika wants to be. Can I use telepathy to just see, like, if Seamus and Alder are, like, this enthralled normally by Ichika and like maybe me and Yukio are just like off our games um or if there is something going on I think Alder's uh, just flattered <laughs> <laughs> so so you you just want to like telepathically communicate with them and and try to pick up on like the vibe <laughs> yeah I, I kind of want to just be like you know just like get a sense like perceive is there something funky going on here or are they just like totally like yeah Ichika fantastic mm-hmm. um okay yeah so roll an insight check okay nat 20 <laughs> nat 20 and it's gonna get me nothing but I'm I'm so like ugh. nat 20 with a one 21 uh so 
it probably actually would just make the most sense for both of them to just yeah. tell you exactly yeah. how they feel about about her. Indeed. So Seamus, you first. Yeah, I was gonna say, are we mentally communicating or are you just like feeling I'm our- like in the background. I'm like just trying to be like, what's up? What's up? <laughs> no, but like, do I actually hear Tom away talking inside my head? No, That's- she's just she's yeah, just yeah. creeping. I'm just creeping. Well, because I told you I would creep, so I don't feel bad about creeping, but I'm just creeping. Okay, so if you're scanning my uh my mental faculties going on you're gathering that i am just trying to butter her up and reinforce the strong connection between you guys and your family um so that she feels compelled to want to help us without sounding too over eager because obviously i selfishly want her whatever abilities power she has etc if she is really this great awesome magic user that sees way better than you guys and you've lived in her shadow your entire time and you hate her for it i don't really care the short term (laughs) if it helps get my family back because at the end of the day i still value you guys and i don't really care how you are competitively with her as long as i still find my parents you guys are still happy and perhaps after all this is over you never see her again (laughs) <laughs> um, I don't believe that I'm under any kind of influence. Um, and this is me just trying to do some psyops and butter her up. Like it. Yeah. And then for me, like, you know, I just met you guys. Uh, definitely her fan club sucks. I don't have any evidence that she herself sucks directly. Uh, and she has buttered me up. So <laughs> why fair. wouldn't I like her? Exactly. Yeah. I don't yeah, trust so- you, but she seems great. No, yeah, so I like I definitely like do this, but it causes me to do that like far off stare sort of thing <laughs> that like I'm totally just playing into the empty headed, like unfortunately, I imagine without my without my knowing just for a moment there. <laughs> um and then I'm like Yeah, what were we we oh yeah, hmm Good. Good. I don't know. She just doesn't seem to be as bad as you think. Maybe you should give her more of a chance. Oh, well, like I, I don't, I don't say anything. I just like come back to your conversation. Yeah. yeah. Well, wonderful. So this you know, is fantastic, Tom Way. Thank you. <laughs> of course, of course. You're welcome. Uh, so you notice Ichika is eyeing Seamus's sword, uh, and. Oh, is this your family's sword here? It looks rather unique. Yes, this has been custom built and modified over generations by uh, my family of artificers. Uh, every male, um, once they reach uh, sort of adult age, um, if somebody wasn't already currently using it, it passes to them. Uh, so I carry this with me at all times um, because you never really know what you're going to run into. So I hope you don't feel intimidated by such a gigantic sword um, being held at my waist. Um, it's not for you. It's obviously in case there's any uh, enemies or vile thugs that happen to come upon us. I like oh, the no. whole group face palm there. That was good. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> We're holding it together, Alder. We're keeping it together. <laughs> no, quite the contrary. I am actually more comfortable around dangerous weapons. Oh, do tell. Yeah, well, before I became a uh, sorceress, you know, I I trained in martial arts, and that was the beginning of my magic use, where I trained my body to such a point that it was almost magical, and it was a very easy transition then into using magic. So, um, I don't know, I actually love sparring. Impressive. Well, if you'd ever like to practice together sometime, just let me know. Sure. Yeah, that'd be, be nice to put steel to steel to another talented user. Oh yes, but of course, my steel is my my fists. So, oh, um, I can do unarmed combat as well. No, 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 no. You use the sword. Oh, oh, you live dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> wait you're really saying that she's gonna like block hits with her hand 
Yes, I'm actually saying that. Is like <laughs> she's like catching the blade like in between her fans. She's actually that talented. Yeah. yeah. Look, no one said she wasn't talented. <laughs> We're just oh, sick man. of hearing about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah n- n- we have never said against that. Yeah, yeah. Remind Yukio, you were. Uh, you keep track of things like this. Remind me, when was the first time that I, I caught an arrow barehanded? I think it was maybe like 10 years old. You were six and a half. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 And and yeah, it was at Yukio's birthday celebration. So I mean, like he he would he would know. That's right. That's why I thought he knew. Yep. Yep. Hmm? Ichika, is that a little dirt on your shoulder? I see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Just I mainly wanted to see if the animation would be able to do this. That would be... <laughs> yeah, oh, I can't. Oh, if only. I know. <laughs> it's only in beta version. <laughs> <laughs> no. move my, can I move my head enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No, Takeshi just looks like real low. Like, ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, so it's it's been so great catching up with family and getting to know your very cool friends. Right? We're very happy to be in the same group. Yeah. I'd yes, hang out with your friends anytime. We appreciate it. Um, is there an easier way to get a hold of you than the vulture? An easier way than the vulture? No, that's definitely like the easiest way. That's why you know, I set it up. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, how fast was that response time? Oh, it was it was lightning fast. We were just a little concerned because your friend Larry um, seemed to get kind of like clawed in the head. Um, it was a little bleedy in the process. Huh. That is news to me. The, the vultures are supposed to land safely on their arms. Yeah, because like I have a hawk, and he always just just alights just very carefully like right upon my. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm wearing bracers, um, you know, so maybe it doesn't hurt as much. But yeah, I think if we try to use the vulture, I'll see if I can catch him on my on my braced arm. Yeah, well, give me let me try something and. She she just whistles quickly, and the the front doors fly open, and a vulture just like comes in low low to the ground, and and lands on her forearm. And granted, it's just like bare skin. Um, and you see the talons like go to like pierce, and like nothing happens. It's like yeah, it's so bizarre. Like yeah, nothing's happening. They're they're very careful. I think. Impressive. Nice uh, avian skills there. So yeah, we'll um, definitely reach out via the vulture net um, and uh, get a hold of you if we have anything else. Sure. Yeah. So I've I've magically enchanted these headbands to summon them, uh, and she so she just takes a few out of her pocket. What uh, what sort of a magical effects uh, are part of the headband? Is it gonna like make me feel funny or anything? feel funny no it, it's it's just a summoning spell oh okay i just i typically only wear jewelry and armor that's been enchanted by my own family um it's not it's not common that i wear stuff enchanted by somebody else so i was just kind of curious before oh no you don't have to wear it it's you, uh, did somebody showed you how to use it right oh yeah you just get it up there like a rally banner and just swing it around we do that a lot of times when we go to watch the um like the toad races and stuff like that you know, you gotta really get your team energy up there let yeah, them know you're supporting that that uh the north carolina spell you know come on raise <laughs> up nice <clears throat> but yeah no you can just pocket it you, you don't need to actually wear it oh okay cool thank you it just happened to you know have this inscription on it if you wanted to wear it i'm i'm not making anybody wear them no, that's oh no insane i'm not saying i wouldn't want to show my support i just didn't want to make sure i like to stay clear-headed um 
I try to my body is a temple, as you could tell. Um, no, no unnecessary calories or anything going into this mouth. Yeah, I mean, I'm not wearing one, so I wouldn't expect anyone else to. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, and you, I, I too, you know, in the same way. She, she's just wearing a gi, so it's, it's like very, you know, very light glowing. That's like all she's wearing. Well, awesome. Well, now we know how to get in touch with you, and that's wonderful, Ichika. So fantastic. We'll we'll keep our classes going, and uh, we'll follow up with you when the time comes. Yeah, definitely. And, and Alder, if you want to take me up on that, we can teach the next class on a Friday, Friday's, <laughs> whatever the days of the week, that, that extra day of the week that's not quite the weekend, but you don't have classes. Okay. Yeah. I guess I have two jobs now. Well, Alder, you know, you, you don't have to take that because I know you already have a lot of responsibilities at the library and I wouldn't want you to get overloaded. I don't know. This seems much more interesting. Oh, yeah. You have a job at the library? This is going to pay you quadruple that. Oh, wow. Yeah. The, the, see you guys around. <laughs> Amazing. Do you actually like leave with her older? <laughs> I don't think I need to. Like, yeah, our conversation's over. All right, fair. So uh she's she just waves off the vulture. Um <clears throat> and then she uh does like a, a snaps her fingers and the broom just materializes out of thin air. She mounts, she does a side mount and uh just speeds off through the front doors all right well uh <laughs> bye bye Ichika. Oh. and then i feel like i definitely did the whole thing where uh just like head down on the table and then a little ghost comes out of my mouth <laughs> and i'm just like well I hope that was really helpful. It looks like it went well, guys. Can I do a quick perception check to see if there's anybody else in here with headbands or somebody who looks like they're following our conversation? Sure. 19. Um, 18 with my modifier. So you, you scan around and there's a, a single student with a headband and it is in fact the tortoise person who checked you. Oh, okay. And um, he's like in, intently watching. So, okay. So Yukio Tomoe, thank you so much for introducing me to Ichika. I really appreciate it. Um, we should probably maybe head outside and um, get some fresh air and talk about our next class. Sounds like a great plan. Kind of just Sounds great. Yep. Kind of tragic. I don't get why you guys don't like her. She seems really good. She's, She's great. Really great, Alder. And I am so glad you guys connected so well. Yeah, I mean, the fan club's kind of a lot, but uh, I don't know. She seems nice. Well, I hope that you guys are able to communicate on the same level. And I just trudge out with, like, you know. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Uh, just like even more just like come here skittles walk out all right so now that there's nobody listening I, i'm really sorry guys i know that was rough for you um but i selfishly obviously if i can utilize her skills talent connections etc um figure out what happened to my parents you know my sister um obviously it's appreciated so I know that was rough, um, and I appreciate what you guys did. Davis, do you think maybe they're being too sensitive? Um, I mean, it's tough. I can totally understand their side of things. Um, it depends on how close they are. These guys are kind of weird. Yeah, and how much they had to deal with it, you know? I, I totally I sympathize with their situation. So, Literally an only child. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Wham! Yeah, exactly. So, 
I'm just like, no, Seamus, I, I totally get it. And I, I'll, I'll be honest. I just checked on you guys, as I said that I would in the conversation to see if anything was weird happening beyond the headbands and no, nothing was. So I, I know why you did it. Family's really important. Um, and Ichika will probably get the job done. So I well, think about, we're on the right track. For the sake of uh, magical science here, I'm going to put my headband on. And can you do like periodic checks and see? Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, wait. <laughs> wait. Like, wait. <laughs> I think one of us needs to know. If well, ho hold on a second. Yeah. Why don't we start by identifying it? Just as a precaution, I know she said that there's nothing else going on, but yeah, you know, magic can be. Can, can we do a tricky? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm more of a physical guy. I hack and slash. Um, I totally trust you guys. Okay. So here's you guys have a headband too, right? So uh, I think you accepted one. I don't think I accepted one. Maybe Alder did. Yeah, I definitely have one now. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think you could. Yeah. I think we were like, mm hmm no, we know how to find you. All right, so do you two have the capabilities to check these out, or should we bring these to somebody uh, that is more... Yes, I, I have some very light ways to find out. Okay. Okay, what do you have? I have Identify. All I right. shall cast Identify. I don't know how that works, actually. I don't even know what my spells are. It sounds right. Like, this normally works the first time, I swear. I'm sorry. <laughs> this never happens to me. Just give it one second. If a magic item or other magic item, learn the properties and how to use them. What I just have to... Let's see. So you choose one object that you must touch throughout the casting of the spell. If it is a magic item or some other magic imbued object, you learn its properties and how to use them, whether it requires attunement to use, and how many charges it has, if any. You learn whether any spells are affecting the item and what they are. If the item was created by a spell, you learn which spell created it. That sounds like a cheat, but that nice so <clears throat> so you cast identify on it and you are able to determine that it does have a enchantment that will summon uh these creatures it so like the, the summon itself uh isn't like a standard summon beast um it's it's something closer to like a summon demon spell um which awesome yeah that that definitely stands out to you that tracks that tracks with what i know of those vultures uh and you also um are able to determine that there there is uh some sort of mind affecting spell that has no charges left. Okay. So there's not nothing here. There's definitely something going on. What do you mean? Well, well for starters, those vultures were really dicks, officially dicks. They were demons. Mm. Or it was one demon vulture. And since it's a demon, that could be. I think it's probably one. Uh, also, uh, Seamus, I think you can probably put this one on, but it does have a mind, uh, a, an exhausted mind control spell that it could have cast. I don't know when that refreshes, or if it refreshes, or if it's only a one. But, you know, maybe don't wear it. You know if it can be remotely refreshed? That I cheap. do not. But I'm sure that we could start poking around some books. 
Yeah, I think I'll, I'll hold off putting it on for now, but when we go to need it, um, we'll give it a try and see if something happens. And remember, we don't, they don't have to wear them, or you don't have to wear them to use it. So honestly, unless you want to support the, the fan club, which you may want to support it, although with her um, also having mind control of people, I don't know if that influences your opinion. Uh, I would yeah, just that's hold it up. in your pocket. Just yeah, I was just kind of curious for for science. Um, I'm okay just using it as, as a summoning device. Yep. It's only right, so mind I, effect, I it's my satchel. not mind control. Potato, <laughs> tomato. Potato, <laughs> potato. I said it's only mind affecting, not mind control. Oh, okay. So for what it's worth, like knowing that this is more like a summon demon spell and that this is also affected by some mind affecting nonsense i'm a little suspicious of her like i i still think she's kind of cool but i'm not like may, maybe you guys are onto something i don't know maybe yeah. not entirely out of hand yeah yeah i don't know the, this this ain't right i just want to avoid all of you moon folks <laughs> you're way too complicated i guess you're not wrong alder <laughs> so are we going to the library again now? That's where we're headed in the first place. But I think it may be getting late for Last I checked, us. um, I had my nighttime group meetup and then we ate food and then we did a thing. Yeah, I feel like we walk out of the Fire Jill Cafe and it is like the dead of night. <laughs> also we just had green tea at like nine thirty PM or whatever. <laughs> Well, it's better than this infinite supply of infinite coffee. Yeah. Yeah, like I can't speak for the player, um, but Seamus, the character, I think is getting kind of tired. <laughs> and we might be looking for um, perhaps end of night uh, rest period. Humans talk weird. <laughs> 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 End of nice red. Yeah, I know Yukio. They don't talk about sleeping like normal people. It's so odd. End of night rest period. Place on <laughs> pillow time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the elevated discussion that Ichika was talking about. The meat mech reboot period. Yes, of course. Yeah, but I think uh, yeah, let's all turn it in for the evening, guys, into the dorm room and. Uh, and then we can go to the library bright and early. And I guess, Alder, you can choose whether or not you want to uh, give your two weeks notice for your job. Oh, gee, you I can probably do both as long as you don't ago. schedule me on Fridays. Okay. Well, we yeah, you take on whatever workload you want. Yeah. I am genuinely hesitant to quit my uh, library job, um, both because I don't know how this new job is going to pan out and also because I'm, I'm a little suspicious of her. Hmm. So... We also have a pretty good meal plan via vis-a-vis -vis working at the library. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's it's a uh, definitely a good meal plan. All right. Uh, okay, so getting to the dorm, Noctis is is there, uh, just working that front desk. Um, so, what order? Do you use the dortle? Um, it's like something bad going to happen if we walk into a certain pay, certain. Uh... I imagine that, I don't know, Yuki, I, I would probably be like, all right, guys, I'm going to bed, like exhausted, just kind of irritated and, and wanting to like have a break. So I'm probably like heading straight for the door. I don't know if anybody has a different. I no, think I gonna happen. I'm going to go with last and these people are going to beat me up for telling you about the note. <laughs> I think that uh, Yukio needs to give gab with uh, new friend Noctis. <laughs> Shit. All right. Well, then I get I go to the I go to the portal. I put in my bit my my info and I step on through. Excellent. Uh, so. It opens up, um, and you go to sleep first, which why is this not pasting? 
Oh, good night, guys. I hope you all get to your beds. <laughs> Haste. Here we go. Good night, Tom. Away. I hope you survive the night as well. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the bureau. The best good night. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is cutting off somewhere. Um, I think Alder just went to bed. Let's see. So. Let's see. Oh, it just cut off like the last four words. Okay. Okay. Um, and then who was second? It looks like Alder. Alder went to sleep. Okay. Copy and paste that one. I really don't like what's about to happen. <laughs> Just waiting. Somebody's gonna come running out of the bushes like a sock full of quarters. <laughs> um. So, so Yukio, you're staying up to chat with Noctis, and Seamus is going in next. I mean, unless Seamus is gonna uh, hang out with new friend Noctis and chat for a bit. Yeah, I mean, I normally wouldn't be so concerned if I wasn't feeling suspicious because of how detail-oriented our GM is about the order that we walk into a portal. Um, yeah, under normal circumstances, I'd just be like, all right, have a good night, guys. Hope all is well. But then, but knowing this is potentially a threat, I feel bad leaving you by yourself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, af after a, a couple of minutes of chit-chatting with Noctis, I'll, uh, I'll put a little punch of magic in the dortle and... Uh, Step away. All right. Um, let's see. Copy and paste that. And Fortunately, I'm getting to know the group well enough to have anticipated the order in which you <laughs> went to sleep. And I just like, don't say anything, Conrad. Let's let them do it themselves. Fantastic. So Seamus goes to step in last and the the door opens and as it opens, it sucks him into the room, which is not his room. <laughs> and it is. So let me see the easiest way to share this. Uh, Am I like violently getting sucked in or just? Oh yeah. And like notice like, uh, notice Noctis quickly stands up and is like, uh, and you get sucked in. <laughs> oh, that's not my room. Can you see where you are? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Am I supposed to be seeing something on this link? Yeah, it should generate a picture. It's not. Um, it's making me sign in again. Hold on. It says I need access. What? Hmm? No. Let me see. About now. I'm just looking around. I'm like, this isn't my beautiful house. This isn't my beautiful wife. Nice. That music video is unfathomably strange. Like, if you <laughs> haven't seen it, you should. Have you I, seen the seen new HBO special? No. Uh, HBO? American YouTube. HBO. Oh. God, you kids are so hip with your acronyms. 
It's not porn. It's HBO. Yeah, okay, fam. <laughs> did, did, I mean, is it just a JPEG, Conrad? Can you just, like, put it into the chat? Well, it's a secret picture. Oh, oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Oh, you sent it just directly to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, they're, they're all comfortable in their beds. We're all snuggly in our beds. So happy. Yeah, and I'm decidedly uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could also just, like, text it to me if you really want to... Um... Yeah, it's so it's it it's not you working now. To be you should have access to it now. Try again. Oh, here we go. Wait, so this is where I am. I woke up. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't really wake up. I, I still am wide awake. Um, yeah. Uh, right. Where you at- arrived. So if you look at the like the bottom, mm-hmm. there's there's like a little bit of light around what could be construed as a door. That's me standing there in front of it. That's yep. Yeah, that's where you, you popped out. Okay. Um, am I breathing? Like, is there atmosphere? Um, you yeah, you're <laughs> able to breathe fine. Like you you like are like oh. Am, am, Am I breathing okay? And it, you don't notice any difference. Okay. Um, so am I not supposed to tell them anything? Like, is this privately happening? Um, so I've never had an encounter like this as a player. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. So at, at the moment, um, let's see. You, so I'll, I'll just say that first you hear like a voice echoing just like into eternity. Okay. And you, you recognize it. Um, it was. Okay. So looking forward, can I run and jump that gap onto that next platform? Yes. Okay, so I want to run forward, jump over there, and look inside that little castle thing. What's going on? I am so concerned. He misses tripping balls, yo. Uh oh. <laughs> Sounds like he's been transported to some kind of platforming game. Oh no! <laughs> boop 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 do 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 do. So right. as you leap. Uh, you you slow down a great deal and like you're you're just kind of floating um and the the trajectory is is the same it's just like the rate at which you move is maybe like a hundred times slower but is gravity pulling me down at the same rate like am i falling so yeah you you will eventually fall on the trajectory the same trajectory. Okay, so I'm not going to die. Is all I care about. Um, so everybody else wakes up because where you are, uh, everything else works differently. So they've all slept comfortably for hours now, and you've your leap has taken the entire night. I get what you're saying. Okay, God. that sounds awful. Yeah. So, All right, so are they now acting out their morning or am I still the primary focus? So by the time you make it to that castle, they're going to like have been awake for like 15 minutes. Okay. So if it's still me as like the active player, um, I'm going to now walk over at what I assume is normal 1x speed. Um, and I want to go in and check out that tower. Because I hear this voice, and I want to go find out the source and why they're saying what they are. Um, <clears throat> so you see that there's just a, an inscription on the wall in a language that you do not recognize. 
Okay. Do I need to make a check to see if like I can, or you're just telling me flat out that I, I don't recognize it? You don't rec- you you could uh, definitely make an, an arcane check to to figure out what it is. Okay. I have a plus five on Arcana. Eleven, so sixteen. Okay. So you you don't know exactly what it says, but you're able to figure out that it's a curse. Okay. Seems nice. Oh, Seamus must be sleeping in because I don't hear any horrible hammering sounds. So, yeah, to I'll jump to everyone else real quick. <laughs> uh, so Alder um, wakes up with no hair. Ah! Uh, Tomoe wakes up and her head is a dumpling with an emoji on it. Uh, like an edible dumpling? Like... <laughs> like yeah, a you're, dumpling? You're it basically the like, curse. like a uh like some sort of like chibi nandroid figure. Uh... <laughs> um yeah, like you're looking in the mirror and like the faces you make are just like really over the top, like hand-drawn expressions. Uh, uh and Yukio wakes up and just begins violently vomiting. And so Shane is, is not there. Uh, is my roommate home? Your uh, yes, your roommate is is there. Uh, then I imagine I look at her, and I'm like, "What? What is happening? Can, help! Can you see this?" So she's on the ceiling, and she like looks down, and is like, "Well, that's weird." Uh, you just buy I that do, or something? I do big angry emoji eyeballs, and I'm like, "This isn't weird. This is my face." That's a cool mask that you bought. Yeah, like, where'd you get it? No, that's not what I mean. I can't. And I like literally proceed to attempt to like remove my own head from my shoulders to illustrate a point. It stretches like comically far. Yeah, exactly. And my eyeballs go like woo, and like my the emoji is like the like horrified emoji, and then it like snaps back and wobbles a little bit mm-hmm. with the oh, dizzy spiral eyes. That's that's something. How'd you do that? I don't know. I just went to sleep. Hmm. Huh. Uh, yeah, I, I slept pretty comfortably through the night myself. So I didn't see anything. I guess, uh, is there, uh, we have an infirmary, don't we? I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, I, I, it's, uh, it's some spell. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. Good luck. Right. She just like rolls over. I guess, do I, I tried to like kind of concentrate, get my, my focus, inhale, exhale, and just try to focus on this. Can I like perceive anything about this? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I sense like, is there a type of magic afoot? Am I sensing like an arcane object near me that's doing this? Like, I'm just trying to kind of gather. Okay, so yeah, make uh, an arcana check. Okay. Uh, 17, uh, 19. Uh, so, yeah, you, you don't sense that there's any sort of object within the room doing this, and you, like, think that you've been cursed. Okay. Oh, okay, great. And I guess I'm just like, uh, oh. I try to get on my biggest hoodie but it doesn't fit over my giant head. Um, And so I just try to like wear the least obvious clothing and find a lot of my room to get help from the RAs. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, if you're all leaving your rooms, which maybe you're not. um, Yeah, I, I am. After trying to get Seamus to help, realizing there's no Seamus to help, I think it's time to 
to go somewhere else for help. Are you still on all the sticks vomiting? and leaves? Yes. I don't know. What's this vomiting situation like? <laughs> Clearly, I don't think those dragon scales agreed with me. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it's actually like it, you. It was initially like you were sick, and now it has become just like random candies. Ah! Okay. All right, this doesn't seem like the dragon scale at all, but but this never happened on my old plane. <laughs> no. Yeah, I feel like all the sticks and leaves that are usually stuck in my hair are just on the pillow now. I'm like, what? And like, I'm not that put off, but like something clearly ain't right. So I'm gonna go figure out what it is. So you're all meeting out front. Oh, Tomoe, you did something with your ears? I didn't do anything. Oh my god, what's wrong with you? You look sick. Oh my god, Alder! I don't know what's happening. I think it has to do with the note. All those really lame insults. Yeah, they told me Balder, and now I'm bald. And they called him Pukio, and now he's puking. And I don't know what they called you, but you're a dumpling. Wait, they were calling me that? I thought that was someone else that Seamus knew. Uh, no, and they called me Dome Away. I guess this is what's up. Have we found Seamus? Has he come out yet? What do they call him? Oh, Lamus. Maybe they broke his legs. <laughs> oh my god, wait, Yukio, you're, where is Seamus? Wait, he wasn't in the room. I don't think he could have gotten away with broken legs. Wait. Or at least I would have heard something. Seamus wasn't in the room? Or at least Takeshi would have heard something. I fell asleep pretty fast when I got back to the room last night. I'll be honest. I don't know that Seamus came back. He was right there next to me. You don't know if he made it home? Well, I'm sure that Noctis would know. So I guess we're we're looking around the main lobby for Noctis. Is he there? Oh, that's a mint. <laughs> yeah, no- Noctis is not there. We could find his tic tac room. I, <laughs> I think I think that may be the best idea. Let's do that. Oh, I don't like licorice. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, stand in front of the portal and summon Noctis's door. So it opens, and, and Noctis answers. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, hey, Noctis, do you like licorice? Don't answer that, Noctis. Noctis, have you seen Seamus? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was really weird. Like, he was just trying to follow Yukio into the room, and then it, like, turned into a vacuum, and I tried to go in after him, but... Then it was quickly sealed, and I couldn't get in. Did you tell anyone? I was about to say, did you report this? Yeah, I, I told the RA, and then she couldn't do anything either. And I don't know, like, exactly how far up the chain it's gone. Which RA did you tell? Nora. Nora. The o- she's the only RA. <laughs> uh, my, my du- like, dumpling head is maybe steaming a little bit. And I'm just like, oh, no. No, because I like you, but that was a little irresponsible. You probably should have told campus police. (laughs) Do we have campus police? I don't know. (laughs) But I think we have something serious in the RA. I didn't go to orientation. (laughs) (laughs) No, just can you come with us? We need all the details. I want to check on Nora's door. Yeah, sure. I can go with you. Okay, told Noctis out of his room. Turn back to the door. Nora's door. N- Nora answers. Nora! Oh, goodness. What's going on here? Nora, we need help. There's obviously some type of curse afoot, and Noctis told us that he told you that one of our teammates, Seamus, is gone, and... I- and we think someone broke his legs. You don't... 
Would you like a Cadbury egg? Um, uh, I don't. It. I mean, it's like first thing in the morning. I don't know if I want that yet. Maybe a Mike and Ike's. Maybe later though. Thank you. Here, you um, can have that. So who who broke Seamus's legs? We don't know, but we've all been cursed and alder usually has hair as you know my head's usually not a dumpling and seamus is usually around have oh. you to told anybody about his disappearance yeah i i told one of the professors uh but they when they cast a scrying spell they were unable to find seamus on campus so uh i don't know what could have happened to him we we, we concluded that he, he must have planeswalked back somewhere else. You saw him get sucked into a portal? This is all very irresponsible. <laughs> I'm, I'm writing home about this. I don't know if you should have accreditation anymore. I thought this was a safe school. I, I thought so too. I don't want I my head to be a dumpling. <laughs> They said safe space on all of the literature. God, which professor did you tell? I went we and told Professor H Hubert. Uh, we need help fixing this curse. Do you know? Should we go to him? We're just, I'm not sure. I don't know. All these curses seem different. I don't know if that's like one expert. Uh, Nothing like this has ever happened while I've been here. How long have you been here? Two years. Uh, this has uh, happened to you in two days. Yeah, we have problems. Oh, I need to talk to the dean. <laughs> so sad. Uh, I kind of want to just call him. Like, oh, dad. Everything <laughs> went bad. What's yeah. going on? Nothing happened to me for X amount of years, and now too many things have happened to me over two days. Look, it's just because like you're years. getting a little homesick doesn't mean this isn't the right thing for you. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to quickly go back to Seamus, uh, who is now going to hear, you must choose. Curse yourself or... Walk out. Curse myself or walk out? The heck are you talking about ominous voice? Yes. Curse yourself or simply leave. Are you saying if I curse myself? Did you do something to my friends? Am I like saving them by cursing myself? Their burdens would be eased. So if I walk out right now, they're still cursed and I'm not. But if I curse myself and stay here, their burdens will be eased. Don't do it. Yeah, I can be bald. That's fine. The greater good outweighs the will of the one. <laughs> sure. Do your worst, turtle boy. <laughs> I've recognized that voice. I've heard you before. <clears throat> Very well. That is what I was hoping you'd say. And the inscription on the wall uh, starts glowing and energy shoots out of it and just like envelops you uh, and you fall unconscious. I can't um, even try to like block it or anything. Um, this is since you willingly accepted the curse. Oh, it's like letting vampires in your house. I invited it in. <laughs> no deflection for you. Uh, all right. I get knocked unconscious. I'm out. Uh, so you fall unconscious. Yukio stops vomiting. And Alder, Alder now has uh, a buzz cut. The hair <laughs> starts to grow back. Amazing. Alder, you humans 
work weird. Yeah. Do you grow fresh hair every day? No. Although huh. it was kind of nice short. It's just like <laughs> continuing to grow and grow. Oh, you didn't look bad. It, it seemed like a pretty good look, but, uh, you know. Maybe I wouldn't get so many sticks tangled in there. I usually see humans with more fuzz on the top. Yeah. Um, and uh, Tomoe's head. Uh, My poor nugget. I want to see the progression from like cartoon dumpling to face because there's definitely some nightmare fuel in the middle. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> I don't know about you, uh, Conrad, but what I was thinking is it's like a like a, one of the plants from like Mario, but like it it opens like the dumpling that it is, and my head is on the inside, <laughs> and like and like all the goo and like the stew and stuff like comes out, and it just like the dumpling falls apart like a dead flower around me and just sheds. Yeah, in which which case. <laughs> Uh, you want a nightmare fuel, Alder. You get nightmare fuel. Yeah. Do we have this. sand checks in this? <laughs> um. <laughs> so let's see. Um. I guess it would be wisdom, wisdom saving throws. Okay. Oh, from my face melting? For from that. your face melting. No, you're fine. Oh, it's yeah, fair, no, I'm really fine. Yeah, yeah. Shiny as before. A shiny as before? Yeah, I'm so shiny. Because of all the goop on you? Yeah. Uh, that's a two and... <laughs> nope. Oh, all right. I'm going to keep it on the... I got a ten. On the table. Seven. Okay, so... Uh, so Alder stomachs it, uh, de- clearly freaked out, but it's like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> um, Yukio then seeing his his cousin's face erupt from that also faints. I'll allow it. That sounds about right. <laughs> At least I'm not vomiting, so that's a win. For about one final mint. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Yukio. I could use that. Um, all of a sudden, the Nora's door closes, and Seamus's body rockets out of the door, <gasps> and and slams into the entrance to the dorms. Whoa! Oh, hey, we. Uh oh. <laughs> At which point, Seamus like wakes up from the impact. Noctis, are you seeing this? Seamus, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little little confused. Um, I think I'm okay. Um, I don't know. I just had like... Are your legs broken? No, I'm not feeling... Seamus goes to stand, and one leg is completely asleep, and the other is completely fine. <laughs> oh, Seamus, what happened? Where did you go? I, I was in this, like celestial plane of like floating lands in the middle of a void um and i was able to jump like really slow and there was like this castle tower and yeah i tried to go over and like there was some other stuff i wanted to see but next thing i know uh there was that guy with the flyer and suddenly i was out and i don't know um yeah, it's all really weird. And then I was like in a tunnel and I thought I heard somebody shoot a bow, but I, I don't I don't know what's going on. I, I'm having a hard time recognizing like what's real and what was a dream. And I don't know why. But did something happen to you guys? Are you guys okay? I feel like we're standing before you. I have like dumpling sauce all over my <laughs> shirt and pants and like it in my hair. Alder has a buzz cut. But it is growing. Is it growing actively with yes. it, and are twigs and leaves generating in it as no. it grows? Okay, so it's it's actually pristine. Okay. First time in a while. 
and Yukio <laughs> is like on the ground, right? Because you faint. Yep. Yeah. Yes. He's on the ground and Noctis is on the ground. Both both fainted. Oh, really? I scared the shit. Yeah, no, Seamus, I, I'm so sorry. We should probably get you reported to like the authorities because weird shit is going on. I was a dumpling and I don't know what happened to Yukio or Noctis, but Older and I, I think we've all had something happen to us. I think it's related to your note. They called me Boulder. They called oh, me Domo Way. And they called me Lameness. <gasps> oh dun, man. Dun, dun, dun. If I was a racehorse, they'd put me down. <laughs> oh. Do you also, need a chair? That's why we thought your legs were broken. What is that, Domo Way? Teriyaki sauce? <laughs> It's a long story, but I think that's the reason why Yukio and Noctis are on the ground. <laughs> okay. It's a good it's a good mix though. I like it. Yeah, I think I need to go back to my room, but we need to get you to the proper authorities and be able to report this. We Noctis here tried to report it to the RI and they said they'd never seen this happen before. I think you're being targeted, like seriously targeted. No, but was it steamed or fried? I was, I was a Wait, steamed this is, dumpling. This is really happening though, right? Yes. Oh, this is so messed up. I know. Um, okay. And I guess turn around and call up Nora's door again. Oh. Just like. Oh, you found Seamus. He's here. Seamus found us. Like, he appeared out of nowhere. We need to tell somebody. We need to get somebody to look at this portal. I don't feel safe in these dorms anymore. Seamus, are, are you carrying, like, a key to, like, another plane or something? I, I, I don't think so. All I know is I thought I was going to my room, and then I was in, like, oblivion. I, I, don't, I don't know where I was. And then I was asked about a curse, and suddenly I came back. I don't, I don't know. I'm very confused. Hmm. Yeah, because the professor was unable to find you in Strixhaven. For, what do you mean? I was gone for like one second. I literally went there and then came back. You guys were searching for me? You were gone for 10 hours. All right, I'm, I don't know. It was like five minutes for me. Oh my God, that's so wild. You got caught in the time sink. Well, what do we, what should we do now, Nora? This is, this is weird. Can you, can we be sure that this portal's not going to do that again? It's, it's so strange. Like the, the dortal should really only go to the rooms unless it was some object tampered with it. It's like the, the way the Dordal functions is it's it only responds to voice commands, but if somebody had a key to a different door, they could hypothetically use it to go elsewhere. Seamus, do you still have your note? Or my headband. Or your sword. Yeah, but I've had my sword with me every time I've gone through the Dordal. The only yeah, thing that's, that's new fair. is this note that was in my pocket and that headband. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to take both out and then try the dortal again, but I don't know if I could take another one of those weird teleportations. Yeah, don't do that to yourself. Let's just examine them. All right. I feel like also I start circling around the dortal to see if anything's on it as well. So uh, so Nora takes the note and, and starts looking at it, and you see her like cast a spell. And she suddenly drops it and is like, this, this is a cursed object that you're holding. Oh, God. Uh, uh, who, I guess, did we, are we going to have a need defense against the dark arts class? Um, Gosh, is that your next class? Yeah, is this thing like a horcrux or something? It may be. It may be indeed. That's literally what I'm trying to get the internet to work. I think it is. We need to go to class, guys. 
Yeah, it, it I'll just tell you. It's your next it, class. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, we were getting there. <laughs> um, I, I just kind of wanted to go to sleep, though. Like, wait, you guys already slept all night? We did. Um, oh, that sucks. We can let you sleep in class, Seamus, but you should probably come with us. I don't know if this portal is safe for you anymore. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'll just keep pounding coffee. I'll be good. All right. So I guess uh, I think we should, like, pick the note up, but, like, not touching it. Um, I have an alchemical, I think, holder uh, that maybe I could put it in. Yeah, you got some sort of, like, mer- magical Faraday cage. Yeah, I have an alchemy jug and it's not perfect but i imagine it would be enough to hold this at at least not touching anything um am i understanding the alchemical jug in the right fashion conrad or yeah oh yeah that you could definitely okay. store it in cool. there so I, I i tweezer up the note and i just shove it in the alchemical jug um all right i think we should go to class guys is everybody can Seamus, can you walk? Do we need to get you uh, a crutch or or a carriage or something? Yeah, my right leg. I still don't have any feeling in it. Um, my left feels fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we got some sort of crutch or one of those little like hover chair bike things, that'd be kind of slick. But I still need to be able to get into class. So I mean, I can um, use my artificing skills, I think, to probably bang out a quick crutch. <laughs> I could help you with that and we can make sure that it gets done right. Yeah. So if, uh, you, yeah, you so see you're up at like first thing. So yeah, you could, you could spend like an, an hour or so making sure that you, um, or you, you're just making a standard crutch. Or, I mean, can I make like a leg brace that just magically walks half out of phase of my other leg? So it kind of always does like what I needed to do. Um, what about exoskeleton? <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, what I, I was thinking. Yeah, uh, well, like a one-legged Iron Man suit for my 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 leg. Um, yeah, so you could make you could make an object that that did that for just like standard walking. Yeah, like I'm not entering the Olympics or anything, but if I could just walk from class to class, I think that'd be pretty uh, useful. Yeah, it, or a crutch. Yeah. You know? yeah. That you could make it, and if you just like spent an hour, like you, you guys could make like a magical object that was able to keep pace with you. If you just wanted to make a crutch, you could do it in like five minutes. Yeah. So, do I need to like roll for it, or do we just say that I spend time doing it? The, with the, I mean, both of you tinkering together, like you're gonna succeed. You'll be able to. Okay. Um, you know, if if one of you was to like make a mistake, the other could make up for it so not gonna get into the nitty-gritty of that so uh so you you put that together and uh we'll end it there where you're going to your self-defense against magical threats class yeah good timing (laughs) yeah oh almost like someone's planning what's going on (laughs) almost like not not quite there's no way that it would actually line up (laughs) amazing and scene. <laughs> yeah,